start a drinking game with my video every time I say actually just have a drink. Okay, happy hoarder here again. Uh, same outfit is another video because I'm trying to shoot a lot of stuff today. I guess I could change clothes. Uh, the reason I wear purple, if I haven't mentioned this before, is purple is a healing color and I really wish this worked for me because I have fibromyalgia and today is a bad day. Uh, I'm wearing purple to help make feel better, so I must be doing okay if I'm actually doing this. Anyway, but it's just 5 o'clock in the morning, driving back from Jackson, Mississippi, and I picked up a few things, but I picked up more items at thrifting at my favorite stores, which is the Rolling Hills Ministry uh, and the one in Monroe, Louisiana. And my uh, haul from from uh, Jackson, I kind of did another little video on it, but I'll show them again. It was very small, didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Yes, this room, so many bags, I'm in so much trouble. I spent very little money. I, I would say I probably spent $100 when it was all come, said and done. But I love these like goodie bags. And that's gonna be hard to the distance. Where I am, nothing's fragile. Oh my gosh, but the ball glows. So I got the glowy ball. Which is kind of funny. I should turn the light out. Not something I would keep. I would redonate it. Okay, this is creepy. This ugh, it looks like Anna, and the hair color is Anna's. So uh, Anna from Disney's Frozen. I am one of these purses. So that's just adorable. So that is um, that's a llama. I'm gonna kind of put it over here. But I did get it because it had this little mini Barbie. I love the little mini Barbie. I am so far away that you can't see anything. But it does have like a little tiny Barbie. Anyway, I got a Barbie coat right here. A little white coat and her pants like Dr. Barbie. I have a lot of Disney stuff uh, that I don't really keep for myself. This is from Tangled, I believe. That something to do with Barbie. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this really fast, but there's a Barbie thing. Because these really aren't my big things. A lot of this stuff is going back. I have a lot of the little, uh, now I can't think of her name, the little doll that's the um, princess. And this monkey, this one of those finger monkeys. Oh, hang on. I'm pretty sure this is pencil. With a pencil. Not really. And then here's the jasmine. I only paid $1.55 for this stuff. And I really got it for the clothes, the Barbie clothes. And I mean, these things are just for fun. And they're really cool. Um, I don't think that's Barbie, but it's a cut hair. And some more of the Jasmine, these little cake toppers. I actually do pretty well if you get them all organized and you sell them individually. They sell really well, but oh my gosh, the time to take 12 pictures of this tiny thing that's only going to sell for about $3 anyway, you may as well put them in a big group. A very tiny Peppa Pig. Just this little bitty. And this is a thing. I don't know what these are. Pick me pops. Some, oh, by Moose. They're a Moose toy. I'm going to hang on because sometimes Moose toys do really well. So there's my keep pile. And donate pops. Oh, and a Hello Kitty. And I think I'm going to figure out what this is. And then I'm going to keep the cookie cutter because I can always use it for dog treats or something. Okay, so that came from Rolling Hills. And then I got me a big purse. I have worn out my, it's a coach bag, but I love it. It's just one of those um, pouches, like the, the little side purse. I don't know what you call these purses. Over the shoulder purses. And they had, this was brand new with tags and they had it for $9.75. And I don't know, you know, anything about how expensive these are. It's purple and purple. It has no green. I like purple and green. Oh, it's got some nice spray on it. Anyway, it said suggested retail was $48. And I got it for $9.75. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. And it was too much from my favorite store. So even better. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is the part we haven't seen. This is, I call her Summer. I don't really know. But she's got the middle part in her hair. Well, three quarter part. But she's got her hair is in ponytails i will fix that she looks so much nicer and these are my favorite dolls are the ones that you can just so bendy i of course made to move are the best dolls but these are pretty cool too and she is the one first time i saw this happen freaked me out i mean i oh she's rubber band together that their body this part of their body pops off she's like 
seriously rubber band together. So we're gonna leave it that way. But that top pops off. Her hair has got this little um, two-tone look to it, highlights, low lights, some good hair, and she's got a crazy original bow in her hair. This can make her easy to identify, but I know she's one of the swapping style Barbies, so that's that helps to identify her. Lots of bags, always got lots of bags. They put like one thing in a bag. Oh, my, my dog Dash joined the party. Come here, you wanna, you wanna invite me? I don't know if you've seen her in other videos. She has a tendency to come tell me, guess what time it is? Kid you not, 6.30, it's gotta be. Is, this, is, is it time to eat? Is it time to eat? <gasps> Are you starving? Okay, give me a minute, no? I'm gonna take a break and go feed my dogs. Are you kidding me? All right, so this doll is not wearing her clothes. This doll was 55 cents. Are you really gonna be in my video? Seriously? Really? I'll be out in a minute, just be patient. She's wearing a Barbie dress, I'm pulling the Barbie dress up, but I have another one of these. I can't remember what they're called, they got a weird name. Why are you in here? She is in here because she knows it's time to eat. She has this, <laughs> She's like, are you gonna sit? Are you sitting in my room of my work? I love my dogs. I do. I love my babies. Anyway, so she is really, you know, still a show. I, I, I'm glad you're getting the booty in because most people do because she loves to have her booty scratched. I have to give me a minute. So anyway, I have another one of these. I'll just throw them together. I either maybe donate them back or sell them. I don't know. So this doll, I'm going to do a close up on this one. These were like 55 cents each. You will let me get up? And because you're right in my way. Her hair's gross. This is a doll I'm just desperate to pull this head off. She's got the worst body. Look at the body. Oh, and my gosh. This is one of those cheap made in China dolls. Not that most things are made in China. Sorry about the bag sound. Um, mm, okay, so she has got me get Oh, got her. She has got these cool eyes. I love her face and her head. So I totally want to redo this. Put her on a better body. because That's some creepy legs, woman. I've seen this body and it was a pregnant doll. Yeah? And she was like a maternity dress and all that came with a belly that stuck to her. Kind of like the old midges did that Mattel did. Uh, anyway, and then these legs, like, oh please, who has legs like this when they're pregnant? Come on. I'm just saying. Okay, so pink hair, oh yes, my pink hair. I have a lot of mermaids. I gotta put my mermaids together, but this is kind of one of the cooler faces. I do call this a Teresa face because I don't know what to call it. And, or one of the newer Teresa faces. Anyway, 55 cents. But I have some other ones that, oh, getting you out of the picture. So I'm going to, this is gonna be a good workout for me today. So I'm going to put her with the other ones. So we'll have like a whole bunch of mermaids. So I'm gonna put. Now this is kind of a funny story. I, you know, why do you buy these weird things? I bought this bear set. <laughs> I'm just gonna get here. Oh my gosh, focus, focus. Because it was cheap. But I do Santas, uh, nice Santas, they're not creepy. And I like to put bears and things with them. And even though this is like glued down, I think they would still work with a base for a Santa. I could probably even pry them off their glue and then glue them back down over there. So they're pretty cute. Um, I don't know who they're made by. Are you starving? You think you're gonna starve down here? Yeah, I don't know who they're made by, but but they're cute, they're jointed, and they do still move. See these little, yeah, they're still jointed. I know it's a shame they glued them down on that best part. Oh, you know what? It had wheels, and I can do that. Oh my gosh, that would be so adorable. I can put wheels back on it, and then I can uh, put it with a Santa, like he's pulling it, and add more toys and a tree. Ah, oh, so many ideas. And then, oh, I'm in the picture still. This is the, the chick from uh, the, oh my gosh, High School Musical. I have to be too many places at once. So I got a couple of brats, crazy hair. Can't wait to fix that hair. I am down to like no brats dolls right now, so. But I have a lot of shoes, so that will give me a, a way to lose some shoes. Hey, can one more bag. Oh, just please, just one more bag. I promise you we'll take a break. Just one, one more bag. I have them in the donate pile. That's the wrong pile. Okay. 
This was like my creepiest find of all times. If I can clean this baby up, I will sell her as a, as a nice doll, but if not, <gasps> creepy baby time. So I hope you're not afraid about baby dolls. Anyway, this is a Zap. I guess that's how you say Z-A-P-H, and I think they're pretty good, but see that mark on his face? Probably won't clean off, so I'm gonna have to um, maybe scrap him, and well, I won't scrap him. He, one thing about him as far as painting, he is very hard. This right here is a problem. Uh, anytime they're squishy and you can't get in there to fill them up, and I don't know if I can fill this one up or not. But look at these little booties. Really cute doll. But their legs aren't firm and they're harder to paint. And you have to kind of tell this doll these. Probably gonna end up being painted. I think it does something. It's got a key on the back. And the key, uh, I don't know, I'll figure it out. My dog was up in my bag. That was my bag. So I'll be back as soon as I feed my dog. Okay, so I got in a little better position. I, I think I like the one where I'm just filming the um, items better. I'm gonna try to see what I can do with this footage if I won't use it. <clears throat> Whatever. One thing I did buy, and I have one right here. I bought a bunch of these glass jars. Uh, let me try that. I mean, I'm sorry, vases, glass vases. And they're not in great shape. I mean, that can clean them up a little bit. But the purpose of these, I have a lot of doll parts, and there's some are small, and some are not so small. But I wanted to put them in these vases. And so some of the vases are about this tall. But the taller ones, I think that's a good size for some of my heads to just stick down in. I thought that would be so funny to just have a creepy looking thing like that. Going on in my studio. Inspiring, I know. Uh, if you got a chance to watch my Jetson video, that is the lamp doll that I got. I do need to post some pictures as soon as I find these things of the actual doll that I had made. And when I do her, oh, she's going to be so creepy. I love her hands. Check out these hands. They're incredible, which I can't bring them any closer. So stay over there, chick. Oh, I don't like that. Laying down. I just keep finding... These dolls, these uh, Baby Alive clothes everywhere. So I have a whole bunch of those. And I rarely find a Baby Alive that looks to be in any decent shape. Sorry, baby. I'm taking your diaper off. Because this is a regular Pampers. They actually make diapers for these dolls. Not sure if they're interactive or there were just some that went with the plain dolls. Anyway, I have a lot of clothes for this doll. So now I can sell her with some clothes. I bought a really cool looking cross. Is that going to show up? That is one of the things getting used to this lighting is figuring out how it works with other things. Getting you know, with my focus and glare and fun stuff like that. I always need these because I display a lot of pictures so that was a cool find for 55 cents. All right so this was a find. This is a mixture of two different sets. One are the Playmobil figures, and the other one is like a zoo. So I can't wait to really dig through that and list those on eBay, because those are eBay things. All right, um, this is, I have something in here I can't show you, because, well, I don't want to ruin it. Well, maybe I will. Okay, so when I saw this, the first thing I thought was, I'm making this gothic. So this is a mask. It's just plastic. My plan is to make her <laughs> scary looking. So, yay! I'm getting my files fixed up. And then I always pick up these little brass horns when I see them because they do Santas. And I like to put a brass horn with them when I can find one. Alright, lots of bags, lots of noise. Alright, so another stand for pictures. And, uh, 55 cents. Man! I should use those. I use them a lot. I like to put pictures on my, my mantle, so not necessarily hang them on the wall. But that gives me a different levels. Alright, so this is a super, super cute, whoa, loud noise, bird feeder that is, oh, can you, I don't even really see what this is capable of. But that, look at that, it's glass. And it is just so cool looking. And um, is it, it's one of those is like easy to clean and it's got little holes so it's probably for the smaller birds like the um, tiny seeds, ones that eat the millet. It's in my studio, well in my life in general. I'm always looking for ways to organize stuff. 
one of those stick things you do. This is uh, just a shelf that is a good size for acrylic paint. So this one, she's an angel. White balance, not adjusting. Whoops. Oh no, she's gonna adjust. There she is. She's kind of marked up, but that'll clean up. Um, I'm losing the 2000 bow. They took a hell she, she's 20 years old, folks. Okay, so this is another doll. This is a Behringer baby. Uh, this one was, oh my gosh, broke the bank, 225. But it's, um, I can't paint these because they're so soft. Now, there are things you can do to vinyl uh, that requires you, I don't know, it, it requires a lot of effort. Anyway, he's pretty, he's clean. I mean, I can, oh, it's a she. I'm sorry. So she's, oh my gosh, she looks like a boy. Anyway, uh, she's, the things you can do with these dolls, you can put wigs on them and you can put the eyelashes on them and you can reborn them. And there are products that you can, that will work with the vinyl. One of the flaws in this doll is it's got a big old pink mark. I don't know what this stuff is, but dolls keep getting these pink marks on them. Come on. And that will not come off. Wow. I still have a lot of stuff to go. Uh, this is cool. This is a little like box to put your change in. I am a little bit worried that some of these spots won't come out of it. But it's one of, it's a baby shoe. Is it that precious? It's not my baby shoe, but it's still cute. Yay, so many toys, so many toys. I love the clip dresses. These are, these are really cool and they don't make them anymore. So I got the Cinderella with some clip dresses. I've never seen her in, in fact, that is not her. This has got to be Anna. And this one is pink with glitter. I don't know, I don't know who that is. Oh, here's another one of these. Look, and these are two different places. Or are they? Yes, they are. They're from two. They're two. Well, what I did is I went to I went through Monroe on the way to Jackson, and shopped, and then I came back on the way. So I think these are just two different trips. So Tinkerbell, me, Turk, little person, this heavy mill toy that is missing a part. Guy donating those. They just need to be thrown away. Um, these are headbands that for babies. Oh, I hope not. They both say juicy. What? <laughs> I don't know what that's about. But they're juicy, whatever they are. But their baby headbands say juicy. I'll throw him in with my all my Disney stuff. Hmm. This pig is a problem. It's got pink on it, and I don't... It's the dreaded pink again. What is the pink? Somebody tell me what the pink is that gets on toys. He may be pink on purpose. I'll have to look him up. Hmm. He is a Disney character. He's some pig. I don't know who he is. Is that something? Don't know what this went to, but it broke off or something. Oh, more clip dresses. Yay, yay. I'm going to put this one back together, but it can be done. Oh, that's a... Uh, it's not Anna, that's the, the, the sister. And look, it's Ariel. So one of these is Ariel's dresses. I think it's a pink one. This is a bird, and I keep seeing this type bird showing up everywhere. It's from a movie, a, a Disney movie. I don't know what it is. Got me a Mattel, um, you know, oh, it's a unicorn Pegasus thing. I don't know what these are from. Clueless to that. I recognize this cat from somewhere, but I can't remember. It, I think it's a Disney cat. And then this is from um, the Dr. Mc, <laughs> McStuffins. Is that the name? I don't know. The little girl. Uh, oh, look, it's the baby. What is her name? I'm sorry, I did see Princess and the Frog. No idea who that doll is. She's got a cute painted face. I should check her out. Oh, looks like a My Little Pony type thing. Oh, wait. It says on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's my own pony. I don't think that is. Maybe. Is this a new version? No, that's by Just Play. Uh, this is another Happy Meal toy, and I do just kind of send this back. I don't know what this is, but it's got a thing on the bottom. Wild West. Check. That may be interested in looking up to see what it is. It's a little skunk. I have no idea. And then... <laughs> I forgot the guy's name. Anyway another frozen thing. This is a Happy Meal toy, but I'm going to keep it because it is Disney. 
I know, let's throw it with the Disney stuff. And more, by the way. I'm still not done. This is, and this is what's so funny. Only a couple of things came from when I went to Jackson. And then the rest of these are from, from my Munro. Uh, this is a doll. I paid 55 cents for, oh my gosh. She is by, could have told you the artist if it was in the morning. I don't know. I can't read it. Maybe it's just somewhere else. All right, so typical things you find on the older porcelain dolls, stretched out elastic, always a thing. This one actually has pretty good elastic. But I don't think I would want to make her into a zombie, but I did a really cool little dead riding hood, and I love her. But anyway, this is uh, pretty sure this one is Alice in Wonderland. But she's got a beautiful face, but that's just adorable. 55 cents! That's the magic number! It's so awesome. So this is by the same artist, actually, and once again, can't see her name. Uh, I will sell... Oh, see? Well, I should know. That's a, Once again, actually, just start a drinking game with my video. Every time I say, actually, just have a drink. All right, something's rattling. Never a good sound. Oh, my necklace. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this necklace is one of my another one of my finds this weekend. It was at that store in Jackson that I, it's called um, the Real McCoy, and it's the one that supports the McCoy House, the for um, getting the sober living house. Uh, this one that is signed on the back, and it says "Made in Denmark," but it's I know you can't see, it, but pretend you can. Zoom in. Uh, this is, anyway, it's made out of clay well it's fired but you know what I mean that's why I was rattling this one 55 cents and she's got a little poop skirt on anyway she's going I'll put her up like she is I think that, I think it needs to be tucked in I don't like it out she has P.S. oh Peggy Sue that's who that is I do know this doll that's that's Peg her name is Peggy Sue and one more and I wish I knew the name of this doll because I have two of these. Yes, 55 cents. You guessed it. I have another one of these dolls. She is, um, got these tiny, I don't, wait a minute. I don't remember having these legs. I want to say she's Cinderella. And I haven't found one like her other than one I listed. And I never found one like her. But she, I want to say that these are Ashton Drake dolls. They're by one. All, all of these are by somebody like that oh, okay so this was something i just couldn't resist why because they're 55 cents they were 55 cents that's it uh they are missing something like a bow is missing off of them oh my gosh though they're so adorable i mean come on a bear a bear and a bunny this is a tie bear and guess how much it was you guessed it you win the prize 55 cents of course i have no prize 55 cents that was a good day for 55 cents. Somebody had that price sticker and they were just nailing everything with it. So anyways, Ty and this a little um, uh, wizard. And, yeah, guess what? There's another one. This is Scarecrow. He's very bright. And he's by Ty as well. And yes, he was 55 cents. So 55 cents is a going rate today. Did I look at this one? Is this one? Yes, these were 55 cents. I mean, come on. I, can, I mean, this is why I hoard people quit pricing it so cheap. One of the things I got in Jackson was my um, Canon G7X Mark II, Mark II, whatever it's called. Uh, at a, it was, that's a whole other story, though. And I videoed it, and my husband was kind of in it for a second, and he deleted it because he just wasn't ready to be seen. Oh, the day will come. Anyway, uh... I got, so I got this back, so let's claim her. I got the same place that I got. This was, you know, at the um, Will McCoy. And so anyway, it's a really, like, brand new Liz Claiborne purse, but it was great. I'm going to use this as a camera bag for my new camera. Even though my camera's small, I have a lot of other equipment that I can carry. I have, like, a little handheld thing, uh, you know, smaller um tripods and things that will fit in here so i'm going to use this as a small camera bag i have like I, said, I have a big camera bag but i need some small ones so i'm going to have to retire my dooney and burke purse because this is my go-to travel purse because 
it's already a heavy purse, but this was mine, and I, I'm going to have to get, sell it. I'm find it a new home. It's really old. It's kind of beat up, but, okay, you know, that's what happens. All right, um, favorite thing to buy, stuff to put things in. Uh, and guess how much they were. Guess, can you guess? Can you guess? No, because the price tag fell off. Uh, just so you know, they were, hang on a second. I bought nine items that were 55 cents. So nine items in here, this somewhere in this pile, cost 55 cents. Uh, I got some Mega Blocks. So I played with those. I got Monster High, two Monster High m movie mobiles. Um, one is incomplete, but one's complete with, uh, I'm sorry, Claudine. And then... People say, hey, not so much about toys. Oh, don't get me started. And then the other th creepy thing I got, I said, I didn't get much. I, Jackson was a, kind of a bust. It was kind of weird, but I got this. Oh, my gosh. This is the best. So this is by um, Ashton Drake Galleries. And the weird thing about this doll, it is kind of discolored. If you know anybody who bought one of these dolls, uh, this could be a problem. I mean... And they're also breaking down. She's sticky. I might be able to clean her up and fix some of that. And one way to kind of deal with that, which I mentioned in another video, was the use of baby powder to just keep her coated with, with some baby powder. But she's already so far gone with her discoloration. Oh my gosh, I'm going to finish her off. And what I use a lot are oil pests. Dales. I have one that will leave a stain if I just rub it on and then I kind of rub it back off It stains it just like a marker or something a little bit very lightly. So I'm gonna try that with a little naked doll there Oh my gosh her hand and my hands are like tacky. I'm a little bit worried about her. She might not work In order to sell I had to be really honest with people and say, you know, she's sticky. I don't know what to do with that. Okay, uh, got a Duplo set today, and oh, this is what I paid about 55 for. Yeah, it's gonna be noisy. No! 55 cents! This was 55 cents! I did check it out. It's missing two of the knights, and it's missing the flagpole. And one red brick. That's a spider on it. But it has some extra pieces in it, which is kind of weird. And then, like, just some bricks. And then another kind of bag. So it's funny because out of these goodie bags, I mean, I do like these. And then I have, I think I have a couple more. I will buy a goodie bag because it has like one thing in it. It's just because it's fun. But the food, I'm just giving back. I did have a whole bunch of food. Oh, I do like the ball with the water and the thing in it. And it's kind of weird. I think it had more water originally. And it just evaporated, but can y'all see that? I'm going to put these with my rubber balls that I have, and I have, you know what, and maybe put them in a jar. I have, like, a collection that outgrew my fishbowl that I had them in. You know, we know what I mean, one of those round things. I don't know. This looks like a Polly Pocket tiny one, but I know where it's going in with the Polly Pockets and other tiny dolls that I have. Oh, you and me. This is some baby products. I have some other, I have like a you and me doll. The found rattle, I will probably donate, but, but it's got, it has a Fisher Price. Oops, sorry. Uh, Barbie dress, which is why I bought it. I bought this bag for the Barbie dress. Oh, and the ball. I guess the ball, too. So, this is a purple Barbie gown. I don't know who it goes to. Probably a princess. Obviously a princess, because it's kind of a gown. I don't think, you know. Uh, more of the, what we call cake toppers. Uh, or PVC. These are not PVC because they're plastic here. Oh, I don't know. Pretty thick. Yep, PVC. A watch with a bunny on it that does nothing but just have a bunny. It's going back. Giving it back to God. Uh, here's... I have a bad feeling about this. She's kind of... I have a feeling. Okay. <laughs> Good, me. We're going to throw you in with... I have a bunch of Minnie Mouse things, so I'll just throw them in the same pile. Uh, lawn dart kind of thing? Or water toy? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Uh, basically, I got this because it's got these Barbie credit cards, which cracked me up. 
Well, one's a Barbie. Two are some other game. I don't know. Fun Express. They're not Barbie. So maybe they'll go back. All right. So we'll pile this. These are a game maybe with really big buttons. And these die cards. I don't know what these are. But my daughter-in-law maybe put me up with that. All right. Uh, last but not least is the goodies in this bag. I've got more dolls right here. These were a dollar each. These, no, this was doll. This was 49 cents at Goodwill in West Monroe. This is a uh, dollar uh, for a spode candlestick for the spode china, which is pretty cool to have to sell. And these are just some ornaments. I did open them. They're just little, little wooden ornaments, but they do have a little bit more detail in them. Not, not a big deal. Most of those I just got to go in with my Santa stuff. I have some smaller Santas that need some toys. And I bought this set. And this is still working for this cute little sheep. This is a sheep collection of some sort. But this is a Goron ornament with a sheep. I'm going to look this up. It's not that great looking. But I just kind of thought it was funny that I have a, it's a collection of sheep. This one is one of those uh, li uh, stone critter littles. So if you know stone critters, this is one. Uh, check that out on eBay. So what's going on with those? This is the winner. It's this little handmade one that I know you can't see. <laughs> this is so hilarious. But that's a keeper. That's for me. I'm going to put that in my weird stuff. And then another adorable little one. This is by Midwest, and if anybody knows Midwest, they do. You can sell some Midwest stuff. I think the cows are going back. I got two cows, and I think they're fixing them to go back to where they came from. Not to Goodwill, probably just Rolling Hills. Uh, one other thing I bought in this because I, I wanted this was um, one of these little dolls of the month with the with the flowers it does have a minor chip in it but she's still in pretty good shape for her age and the fact that she was just thrown in with a bunch of junk now i did get this basket and paid big money for this basket four dollars uh 3.99 but i love to have uh you know stuff to put things in and here no things to put stuff in this is the thing to put stuff in so all my stuff yeah, so you can see it's like 55 cent items everywhere. And like these were 50 cents each. And I mean, a lot of this stuff was so cheap, which is why. Hoarding is so easy. But it's also a lot of fun. So be happy. And remember, it's not hoarding if you have a place to store it.